dressed very smartly. It's my birthday today, so I um, want to thank everyone for the birthday wishes. It's been a good day so far. We've got a night out planned as well. Um, but the reason for this video, gentlemen, is from time to time, and it isn't necessarily to re-motivate my audience, so to speak, but because look, at the end of the day, this isn't a NoFap channel. This isn't what this channel is about. This isn't talking about masturbation and pornography on a continuous basis. That's not what this channel is about. However, from time to time, it's key to, to hammer the message home. And in this video, we need to talk about edging on NoFap because for me, this was the main thing that held me back as I embraced and embarked on my NoFap journey when I was a young boy. And I was foolish enough. I was very naive when I was very young that I believe I could quit the entire thing overnight. That I could go on this one big long streak, get a girlfriend, have intercourse with her, and I'd never think about masturbation ever again. However, of course, that's not how life works. That's not how addictions, vices work. As humans, we all have our vices. And for those of you that are watching this video, it's most likely pornography that's your vice. And it certainly was for me. I was very naive in thinking I could quit it all in one go, but we are addicts for a reason. We've been doing it for years. We intrinsically, innately know that for years and years, it's a destructive habit that it holds you back from attaining your goals and dreams. And it's a habit that you have to eradicate if you want to elevate to the next level. We've known this for a very long period of time, but because it's a vice, because it's an addiction, we can't seem to get over it. Now, edging, why is edging bad? A lot of people have these false pretenses that I have a streak of 90 days. I have a streak of 150 days. I'm the fucking man. First of all, congratulations, because that's a, a fantastic feat. However, we have to analyze the validity. We have to delve a little bit deeper here. What are you doing with your, your waking hours? What are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? How productive are you? What other habits are you doing on a continuous basis? What are some of the foods you're consuming? Are you exercising? That's a separate video that we'll discuss because quitting porn isn't going to elevate, elevate you to the next level. That alone isn't enough. And that's the other mistake I made. But are you edging? Are you still using dating apps? Are you using Instagram and going on the explore page and you're seeing women in, in bikinis and they're essentially half naked and it's just soft porn. Tinder, Instagram, these are all soft porn sites. If you're using Tinder and Bumble to genuinely meet women, even though it's not something I'll personally advise, fine. But if you're genuinely just on the app, just flicking and swiping and you're not getting any matches, you're just looking at half naked women, you're just firing your dopamine up. And, and that's the key point of this video that I want to hammer home. The biggest mistake I made is edging. If you're edging on NoFap, you've failed. You've completely failed. Start again. Don't set your counter to zero. I'm so against setting counters. Don't count your days. Don't say, yes, I'm on day 30. You're a punk. Don't do that. You're an idiot. Don't do that. Your brain doesn't care if it's day 45, day 15. It cares about its recovery. This is why when I went to the gym on my birthday, the other, well, I went to the gym on my birthday today and I went last year, my friends were like, oh, why are you going to the gym on your birthday? Have a day off. My muscles don't know it's my birthday. My muscles don't care. It needs to be stimulated. I need to go to the gym. It's the same thing with your brain. It doesn't count the days. It doesn't care if you're on day 60. It doesn't care if you're on day 100. It's that simple. Forget about it. Just focus on recovery. Because the other problem is if you count days and you flop after day 45, you go into a binge mode where you think, oh, I'm on day zero. I might as well wank a few more times. That's what I used to do. Do not do that. Why is edging bad? It's to do with your brain. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the recovery of here. Because this controls things like erectile dysfunction. This is imperative in terms of your motivation, in terms of your, your future discipline. Everything is controlled from here in terms of your testosterone levels. With you and dopamine, when you continuously watch porn, and even if you don't bust a nut, if you just edge and you're just watching porn on a continuous basis, but you're not edge, but you're not busting, sorry, and you're technically edging, you might think that you're progressing, but you're not doing anything because your brain is still being fired up by what is viewing in terms of content and the action that you are doing with your hands. So you're not changing anything in terms of habits. And on top of that, your brain isn't actually recovering or re rewiring in a, in a positive manner. It's not because you're doing the same repetitive destructive habit instead of busting, but you're firing up the dopamine receptors. Your testosterone isn't increasing. You're damaging the wiring of your brain. You're still flooding dopamine into your brain. This is the whole point I want to mention. People say, oh, I'm on day 100 and I'm like, <clears throat> cool. What have, what have you been doing? 
oh, from time to time in the morning when I get a little bit horny and I've got morning wood, I just start touching it a little bit. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know people that rub their penises against the mattress because it feels good without their hands. I used to do it too. It's destructive. You're edging. If it feels good, you're edging. It's destructive. You are not progressing. Your brain isn't making any progress. I need you to understand this. If you are edging, you've already failed. Start from the beginning. Start again. Don't count days, but start again. Because the entire process has been futile. You haven't given your the, the brain, the hormones, the chemicals, the receptors, the adequate amount of time for it to heal. Nothing has changed. And nothing will change unless you change. You cannot edge. And the best way to do this is you have to pack up your schedule. Your schedule has to be packed up. Either get a nine to five job, either be productive, hit the gym at a consistent time, speak to family. If you're out in public, you're not gonna masturbate, obviously, so just get outside. It helps you with your socializing, your social skills, your anxiety, your depression. Get outside, leave the room. Just leave the room. Stop spending time in your room. Read a book outside. Go sit on a park bench, read a book. Just do not stay indoors, because when you're indoors, alone in your dark little room, and you've got nothing else to do, and you're really bored, the temptation, the urge is there. As a wise man would once say, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. That's where the devil enters. So you have to you have to eradicate it. You have to let that go. You cannot do that. If you're edging on LoFap, you've already failed. I don't want to hear people or listen to people that are going to sit here and say, it's fine, it's fine, keep counting your days, it's fine, you're progressing, your brain is making phenomenal progress, you're on LoFap, that's fantastic. No, the standards have to be kept up here. I made that mistake. I was kidding myself continuously kidding myself into thinking that I was making progress when I was edging. You're not making progress. Nothing is going to change. You're still going to be anxious when you leave the door. You're still going to be depressed. You're not going to experience any sort of benefits on LoFap and you're still going to be an awkward fuck. Stop it. Stop edging on LoFap. It's not going to work. Stop it. Because you're gaining pleasure. You're deriving pleasure from it. You're not going to be motivated. You're not going to be disciplined. If you edge, you've already failed. I don't want to hear it. Do not edge on LoFap. I don't want to keep saying this over and over again. Smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.